Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to your horoscope for the week of November 6th through the 12th. So what is going on with you guys? Let's talk about some things going on internally that we're not accepting right now, which is you accepting your accomplishments that you are eternalizing and not just the ones outside. Those are the ones you guys are paying attention to. You're paying attention to everything everyone else can see as an achievement. There are inner achievements. Like, let's say, this is an example. The example is, I'm going on a diet. Today, I will not eat cookies. I will not eat chips. I will not eat candy. I will not drink soda. And you make that happen. That's an accomplishment. It is a very big accomplishment. And you don't have to voice it outward to tell everybody, well, I didn't do this for one day, not to get the same reaction, that the way, the excitement that you feel. So... It's about accepting those internal accomplishments versus the out the out ones. Those ones people will accept. You need to start accepting things for you and the things that you're doing for yourself. Like I decided I was going to start reading a book an hour every day. Boom. Or I read one chapter every day. I'm going to do homework. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to do all these different little things that you can accomplish. But they're just for you. They're not for the rest of the world to know. The rest of the world doesn't have to know whatever the accomplishments are for you. So a little self-reflection here is definitely something that's needed and recognizing it is the biggest thing because it has enormous value. You don't realize that when you as a Taurus do not accept those internal achievements and you maybe voice them for other people to be like, oh my God, that's great. And you don't get that. What we get is, sad Taurus versus happy Taurus when it should still be a happy moment. It should be something for you to recognize and not matter what other people see or feel about it because it's about you. Not everybody's going to be as accepting of something as they think is, oh, well, that's easy to do when clearly they can't do it themselves. Trust me. It's accept your own achievements is what I'm trying to say and not have to look for everybody else to, to cheer you on. Because right now you need to be your own cheerleader. Accept those internal achievements, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what the work life has. All right, we're here with the work situation. So work is going to come through very masculine type energy. So all those in higher power roles, like management CEOs, things like that, you're gonna find them being very, very dry with the way they're trying to accumulate uh, to communicate to you. It's not coming off with any type of like sweetness. It's not got any emotion with it. It's very dry, very cutthroat. It's very blah. And your boss may be telling you to do many things and you are getting a lot of things accomplished, You're actually getting more accomplished than you were capable of before. That's an internal goal. That's something you need to recognize. We just talked about that. Recognize that energy. Accept that energy, even if the boss is saying, you still didn't get this, 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 this done. I'm not telling you to say who cares about that, but let's be honest, who cares? You got more done. That is an achievement for yourself. They're always going to tell you that you need to do more than what you're capable of doing. So it's never going to be, um, you know, you get everything done. You're so great. Don't expect that type of energy right now. You're not going to get it. Very dry energy coming through. It's a definitely watch out for that. That's why we're telling you to accept the internal achievements. All those things that you're doing for yourself. Something you're doing better for yourself. Something that you realize that you're that you're doing better for yourself. Accept that achievement. Don't worry about the ones that are maybe that great or coming off very dry without emotion. All right, let's take a look at what the love life has in store for you. All right, with love situation going on here, we're not talking about your actual physical relationships with your partner. We're talking about the love relationship you have with your job. So your job is reflecting in your love life right now because it is a relationship between you and the job that you have. I need you guys to look at the things that are going on within the job and you need to just like a relationship, when things are bothering you, you need to be able to communicate those things. But 
know the good things that you provide for this this job and what you are capable of to communicate right now remember the energy is dry so you're not going to find yourself getting any type of compassion when it comes to trying to get them to communicate or understand where you're coming from if you're going to look for a window of opportunity to communicate your relationship with your boss or with your job you need to wait until next week because this is not the week to communicate that type of situation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the money situation. On the money front, let's go ahead and tell you guys about seeing money as a tool. I know you Taurus is only seeing money as a tool. You only get enough as enough money as you possibly need in order to, to survive or get what you're looking for. Other than that, you guys are not driven by money, so you guys do see it as a tool. But right now, it's not a time for you guys to, to uh, push away from your job. This is uh, to beware of yourself and stop seeing yourself as a failure. These are challenges and realize that you only see money as a tool. You don't see it. Now, I'm not saying that you don't want more money. Who doesn't want more money? But you guys are not trying to, you're happy and content with what you have as long as you have it to make. And you get money. You have opportunities to make money. You Taurus seem to be the ones that I see with the greatest opportunity to always be able to uh, have the money that they need, but not go over over the crazy. Now you could break this little this little trend that Taurus has and start a savings account, and by doing so, putting five dollars put five dollars a week in it and watch how it accumulates over time. But that's what I got to say for you guys with money situation. Let's check out the spiritual side. All right, with the spiritual side of things, I'm telling you guys right now that it is okay to embrace something new. Um, you focus a lot on financial security, but again, you see it as a tool, so there's nothing more to it. But that seems to be going on too long. You guys need to focus a little bit on your spiritual side of things, which is opening yourself up, what you do for a living, um, and the reason it's reflecting that is because it kind of feels as though you're using your job as a spiritual resource. And spirituality is not based on the job that you're doing. It's based off of beliefs. So take a step away from the job situation or take a step away from the way that you run your everyday life and actually start maybe go to a church or go to some different uh, spiritual practices. Do something to explore. You're not exploring. Check out some spiritual uh, traditions. Ask family members what their spiritual traditions are. Some of the ones that you may have grown up with that you've kind of walked away from, they're, they still exist. So check them out. But uh, give yourself some spiritual time. Don't make things about work because that's you see that as a tool. So it's not spiritual. It's not a spiritual tool. That's a I need to live tool. And you guys are good about it. So don't allow that to be your spiritual side because it's not what, it doesn't own you. It doesn't control you. There is so much more outside of work. Guys, this has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys all next week with some more Taurus information.